morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, today, oh my gosh, this insanity. It is actually 6.30 at night. I'm doing a night in the life. I've been cleaning, deep cleaning all day. I like my basketball. house. Yes, the house is a disaster. Yep. Um, Kaya is playing basketball because she's now informed me that she's going to be a basketball player. So she's practicing basketball with her hoop in the house. They have it conveniently set up right over here in the kitchen. Um, I'm making asparagus and rice and some chicken on the grill for dinner. Super simple and easy. Um, I have so many things I need to get done. So I actually announced over on my Instagram, but Mike and I are actually going on a trip by ourselves next week that we've had booked for a long time and I'm very excited to have a week long break. So, anywho, so I have been deep cleaning. We have somebody coming to house sit and to watch all of our animals. We have um, both the dogs and the cat. Okay, so let me like wrap this up of like what my day looked like. I was cleaning all day and filming that for my at home channel. And then also had to run three gates um, over to a customer's house and then realized that we had ordered the wrong hinges for her so I need to order the right hinges and now tomorrow morning I'm going on a six and a half hour total round trip like drive for a delivery that I need to make and I'm going to have Riker with me so that should be interesting but anyways without any further ado I wanted to announce that today's video is in collaboration with my friend Amanda Little here on YouTube she is a stay-at-home mom like I am she has a four-year-old and a two-year-old and does all of the mom life things and wants all of the mamas to feel like they have a tribe definitely is your girl if you guys have not gone and checked out Amanda's channel yet I'll leave her video and her channel link down below for you guys she's the sweetest her family is so adorable tell her that I sent you and thanks again to my friend Amanda for teaming up with me on this day in the life video oh my goodness all the mom life things today it's just been mass chaos um, okay I am going to burn the asparagus one, one minute so I have gotten a ton of new things lately if you guys didn't check out my get it all done I posted over on my at home channel I'll have it linked up here for you guys. It is such a good one. I went to Home Goods and they had just freshly stocked everything. And oh my gosh, it was like heaven on earth. My my Home Goods is never stocked. Hang on. I so like I said, my Home Goods is never stocked. So I was super pumped when I saw that they had refilled on everything because I needed a few new things. So over here in the corner, don't mind my super, super messy entryway. I've got like a Thrive Market box down here, shoes, toys thrown down the stairs, all the things. Okay, so in the corner here, I got this super cute plant, which the cat I see has already been nibbling on. Um, but this is like the plant pot. I loved this little guy. This was like, I think it was like 30 bucks. And then the plant inside was 25. Um, I do need to get some filler so that you can't see the other base. Um, I'll probably just go to Target and see if I can find some cute filler or maybe Hobby Lobby. Um, yes, the cat has definitely been nibbling on this already. He's such a stinker butt. But anyways, it is fake. It is not a real plant. But I'm loving all of the boho vibes that I've been incorporating into the house. All right, so I've been trying to make a habit of opening my blinds every day so my plants can get good light. Now over here on my plant shelf I got this beautiful new agate. It's like a crystal of some sort. It's beautiful. I got it from Home Goods. I also picked up a few candles. I have a meditate one. Oh, that's good. I have like stuff on my hand from the grill. I got a meditate one. This one is my favorite. It's the lavender sandalwood. And I've got two of these. I have one down here and I have one upstairs. And then this is the other one I've been burning. It literally is like already halfway gone because I've been burning it so much. It's the sand and fog chai. All of these are from Home Goods and we're like $6.99, $7.99. Um, and then I also got the stress relief, which oh smells so good. Just very like clean 
spring scents. I love like all of the like essential oil based scents in the springtime, especially lavender and sandalwood. That's my favorite. Once these candles run out, I will likely be diffusing a bunch of sandalwood and lavender because it just smells so fresh and like light and I love it so much. My second favorite for like essential oils in the spring is the Clear the Air. I talked about this over on my at home channel, but I like to diffuse that a lot because it just gets rid of that like stale scent in the air. I don't know, like after the winter time, I feel like everything is just a little stale. So that's what I like to do in the spring just to freshen it up in here a little bit and I'll have my blinds and my windows open as much as possible. It was like 60 degrees today and tomorrow's gonna be almost 70 here in Minnesota and then Wednesday we're getting snow so don't get too excited for us. It's not like it's gonna stay but um, yeah so we'll have some nice weather tomorrow and I will again have the windows open but anywho. All right so I haven't talked a whole lot about this trip. And let me um, prop you guys up on a candle. It's like my go-to is propping things up on candles. Okay, so like I was talking about earlier, I, Mike and I are going on a trip to the beach next week. And I ordered in a ton of new clothes, not just for the trip, but also for in general because I've lost so much weight. Yeah, I do. He loves to smell the candles. Does that smell good? Can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Oh, you want them to smell it? Okay, you guys smell it. It smells good, huh? It's called humidor. Humidor. It smells really good. It's a woodwick candle. It smells really good. I got it for Christmas. Yeah, can we leave it there? No, of course not. Yeah, does it smell good? You want to smell it? You smell it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I almost dropped it. Mm, it smells good. Smells good. Oh, are you sleepy? Are you ready for? No, let's not eat it though. Ah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, smell, smell. Mmm. Yeah, that smells good. Yeah, smell. Mmm, smells good. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna be running through a bunch of the things that. Yeah, a bunch of the things that I picked up. For this vacation, I had to buy all new clothes because nothing that I had from last summer fits me anymore, um, especially my swimsuits. Everything was way too big. You want to smell that candle? Do you like that candle? It smells good? I love that face you made. No, don't lick it. No, don't lick it. You smell. Oh, it smells good. Mm. So tomorrow, like I said, I have a six and a half hour round trip for for Eminem rustic deliveries that I need to make. Oh, that's my sweet boy. And then on Wednesday or Thursday, let me smell it. Oh, that smells so good. Wednesday or Thursday, I have um, a well check for Riker scheduled. I believe he only has to get one vaccination and um, we'll just like run through all the checkup stuff, like normal two year old checkup stuff. And then I have a hair appointment this week and we're trying to finish up a bunch of orders before we leave for vacation. Um, if you guys are wondering, the kids are going to grandma and grandpa's for the week and we have a ton of art projects packed for them and all of the things. So the fur babies and the human babies are all taken care of for next week. And Mike and I haven't had an alone trip um, in about, let's see, two, almost two years. Very much so looking forward to it. No, we can't have any more treats. Should we have some nummies? Should we go have dinner? Mommy? Let's go, yeah, nums. Let's go have nums. Mom, I'm guess gonna what? Serve up Where some dinner. <laughs> Just finished up dinner with the kids and Riker. Is this what you want to have for dessert? We have like leftover candy from from Riker's birthday party. He had a pinata. Yes, yeah, so we have like gummies left and stuff. There you go. All right, the house is a disaster. The sink is full after one day. It was empty this morning. Got that. And the entire table is filthy. I have to edit and upload two videos tonight um, because I am going to be leaving very early in the morning 
um, I was just sitting and talking to Mike and he told me that, um, so we have one of the barn doors that I'm delivering tomorrow is like a distressed white. Mike is painting it white tonight and then tomorrow morning I have to get up at like 6 a.m. and distress it and seal it, which our sealer like seals in like 15 minutes. So thank goodness for that. But I have to do that in the morning and get going to daycare by, I have to have Kaya to daycare by 8.30. So we have to leave at eight in the morning all ready to go, which isn't terrible, but I have to get up super early so that I can get that door distressed. And then after I drop off Kaya, I have to go and pick up a trailer um, for the pieces. Mike's gonna meet me over at this place so I can get a trailer. And then we're gonna come back to the house, load up, and I am going to take off. And my first stop is like an hour away, and my second stop is like two hours from there. Um, and then it's about a two and a, yeah, is that nummy for you? It's about a two and a half-ish hour drive home. So with stops in there, so it's like three, so five and a half hours, so about six hours, which means I need to be on the road at the latest by 10. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, because then I'll be back in town by 4, pick, and then I'll pick up Kaya, and um, I have to pick up Kaya before 5.30, so. Anyway, oh my gosh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a day tomorrow. I'm not super looking forward to it, because I know that Riker is going to be difficult to entertain. Yep, all done. You're gonna be difficult to entertain in the car tomorrow. Entrepreneurial life, oh my goodness. This is gonna be crazy tomorrow. But tomorrow, we live a week from tomorrow for our vacation. So after tomorrow, it, it like the rest of our week is a lot more calm. And then I'll be able to relax and um, finish pre-recording -pre some of my videos that I need to do and all the things, oh my goodness. So anyway, that is what is going on. It's just mass chaos. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when there's just like so many things going on, I get very overwhelmed, but like once I'm on the road, as long as Riker is behaving and not trying to get out of his car seat, we should be okay. But we went to Minneapolis last weekend, and that is a three and a half hour drive to my sister's house. And that was interesting because Riker learned how to unbuckle himself and get out of his seat. And I'm gonna be all by myself tomorrow with him on the road, so I'm a little bit nervous for that. Anyway, um, yeah. So that is the plan for tomorrow. I will not be vlogging tomorrow, but I will be vlogging Wednesday. So I will update you guys on Wednesday to let you know how that went. I am going to have a sink full of dishes because I'm not gonna be able to get to them tonight. I deep cleaned the upstairs today though, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Feeling very overwhelmed at the moment, but I know that everything will feel, so I'll feel so much better after tomorrow is done. Um, and after we make it through because right now I'm just I'm stressing out a little bit. So um, actually Actually, I should I might swap out Kaya and Riker tomorrow and have Kaya come on the road trip with me instead mm, Yeah, I might do that I'm gonna text my daycare provider Riker has this new thing where he likes to open the dishwasher and try to sit in it yeah, you know you're not supposed to do that. All right, so I texted my daycare provider because we're able to swap the kids out if we need to. And I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that earlier, but Be Riker recently learned how to climb out of his car seat or like unbuckle it, okay? And I have this thing on order from Amazon that prevents him from doing that. It's just like, I'll leave a link for it down below, but it prevents them from like unbu unbuckling their seatbelt. Like even if I have the chest strap like nice and high, he still, he gets it and then wiggles out of the bottom. So that is fun for me. But instead, Riker will go to daycare tomorrow and then Kaya will come with me. That way I know that Kaya will be good and can be entertained. That way I know Kaya will sit still and like can entertain herself. I have like iPad and like coloring and like all the things she can do. But I know I'm not the only one that like goes through this and like trying to work and then you know stay home with your kids and oh my gosh it's just like insane. So 
you gotta do what you gotta do to like make things happen but anyways all right i am going to end the vlog there for today just a chatty little day in the life night in the life really this is like my standard routine i hang out with the kids like i'm right in the background what are you doing buddy what do you got this is my routine at night with the kids i like to just hang out with them for a couple of hours until they're ready for bed um recently because don't bite my toes recently because hello who is it hello recently because they um have been breaking out of their room as well they literally tore their door off their frame or like Riker slammed it so hard that it came off the hinges and so now I have like a gate up there for safety reasons because I'm scared to put a door back on um oh my gosh it's just insanity um anyways I just have a gate up there anyways because they or Riker breaks the gate down um when they're trying to go to sleep I will work on the basement and have them down there with me. I'll just start them like a movie and they play with their toys and watch a movie while I work out for like a half hour. Um, and then I bring them up to bed. So right now it is 7.40 and I need to get to move in. My food is just like, I need to digest my food a little bit before I just like go bounce around on the elliptical. So anyway. All right, that is what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. I have several other videos planned for you guys this week. Um, tomorrow night, I will be sitting down and recording my, um, or finishing up editing my keto meal video. That one that you guys have been waiting for for so long. I finally finished up some filming on it. So I will be editing that on Tuesday night and have that up for you guys on Wednesday. And then I do have a sleep training video going up on Friday. And next week I have that clothing haul. And I also will have a day in the life vlog for you while I'm away on vacation. Feel free to DM me and follow along on my beach vacay um, over on my Instagram stories. I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm trying to like get this like little sleep out. There we go, I got it. Got on a sleeve, there we go. But anyways, feel free to follow along on our vacation over on Instagram. I will be on Instagram a little bit here and there. Um, I'm trying to unplug is like my goal. I'll be vlogging a little bit while I'm there. Nothing crazy, I'm not bringing my vlog camera with. I'm just gonna bring my phone and just kind of record some like moments that I want to remember on this trip. So anyways, I'm so excited that I could cry. I'm very nervous to leave the kids for that long, I've never left them for an entire week. It's been like five, six days max. So this is the longest, and definitely the longest I've ever left Riker. The longest I've ever left Riker is like four days when we went to um, California. We went to LA for our anniversary one year. So yeah, this is the longest that I'll be away from them. It's gonna be hard, but I know that taking this time as like a couple and to, have some like freedom to just like relax and like be ourselves for a little bit is going to be so therapeutic and is going to make me a better mom in the end i know that but i'm very nervous to leave them for a whole week so anyways all right guys i will see you in a couple days for that keto recipe video and again if you haven't yet go and check out amanda's video and amanda's channel she's the cutest family like i said she's also a stay-at-home mom and she makes the cutest day in the life videos very similar to my content so all right you guys i will see you in a couple days for another really fun video okay bye guys